This short tutorial will show you how to set up a task in Attunity Replicate that replicates data from SQL Server to Amazon Redshift. In this tutorial, I will be using SQL Server as my source database, although you can use any source database supported by Attunity Replicate instead. If you want to use a different source database, make sure that you have the appropriate database client installed on the Attunity Replicate machine. Before starting the tutorial, please pause the video and take a few moments to review the prerequisites. Open Attunity Replicate. Setting up a task in Attunity Replicate consists of four separate stages. Define the source and target databases, add them to a task, select which source tables to replicate, and finally, monitor the task. Click Manage Databases. We'll start by configuring the source database. Click the Add Database button. Specify a display name for the database and then choose Source as the database role. Choose SQL Server from the Type drop-down list. In the Server Name field, enter the name or IP address of the SQL Server machine. My SQL Server is installed locally, so I'll just enter localhost. Since my SQL Server is set up to use Windows Authentication, I'm going to leave the default Windows Authentication option, but if you need to specify access credentials, select SQL Server Authentication and then specify your username and password. From the Database Name drop-down list, select the database containing your source data. Click Test to check database connectivity and then click OK. Now we're going to configure Amazon Redshift as our target database. Click the Add Database button. Specify a display name for the database and then choose Target as the database role. Choose Amazon Redshift from the Type drop-down list. In the Amazon Redshift Target section, enter the information required to access your Amazon Redshift database. In the Attunity CloudBeam Credentials section, Make sure that CloudBeam User Authentication is selected and then specify the email address and password that you use to access your Attunity CloudBeam account. In the Amazon S3 Staging section, enter the information required to access your Amazon S3 bucket. If you want the data to be replicated to a specific folder, specify the name of the folder in the Folder field. Click Test to check database connectivity and then click OK. The next step is to configure an Attunity Replicate task that will replicate the data from SQL Server to Amazon Redshift. Click New Task. Specify a name for the task and make sure that the Data Warehouse or Business Intelligence Replication Profile is selected. We're going to leave the default replication options. When Full Load is enabled, Attunity Replicate will initially perform a full load of the source data to Amazon Redshift, and because Apply Changes is also enabled, any changes made to the source tables will also be replicated to Amazon Redshift. When you click OK, the console interface switches to Design View. The next step is to add your source and target databases to the task definition. Drag the SQL Server Source Database to the Drop Source Database Here area. Then drag the Amazon Redshift Target Database to the Drop Target Database Here area. After choosing your source and target database, you now have to choose which tables to replicate. Click Table Selection. In the Select Tables dialog box, select a schema and click Search. Then either click Add All to replicate all the schema's tables, or for each table you want to replicate, select the table in the Tables list and click Add to add it to the explicitly selected Tables list. When you're done, click OK to save your selection. Click Run to start the task. In the Run Replication window, you can optionally review your settings by clicking Show Details. If everything is in order, click OK to run the task. When you click OK, the console interface switches to Monitor View. In Monitor View, you can monitor the progress of the replication task. After full load completes, you can switch to the Change Processing tab to monitor any changes being replicated. You can also monitor the task in the Attunity CloudBeam web portal. Log in to your account and click Active in the CloudBeam for Amazon Redshift subscription widget. The task will have the same name as the task that you defined in Attunity Replicate with the addition of Full Load or CDC to indicate the replication mode. Double-click the task to view more details. Thank you for watching this tutorial. As you have seen, 
Using your Tune to Replicate, it only takes a few minutes to set up a full load and CDC replication task that replicates data from any supported database to Amazon Redshift.